Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Tech Ops from Fortnite. Let's get started in the center of our page with the goggles. So there's four circles of equal size. So we're going to start on the outside. Starting on the left, start at the very top of the circle. We'll work our way around. And then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to draw the same thing all the way over towards the right side. So let's line up the top of the circle. Work our way down towards the same height as we have on the left. Then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to connect the tops of the circle with a straight line going across, starting on the left side. And then we'll do the same thing along the bottom. Starting on the left side, we're going to go straight across towards the right. Now I'm going to draw two more circles of equal size on the inside. Starting on the left, right up here, we're going to try to leave a little bit of a space in between each of the circles. And do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to trace the circles out on the inside, leaving an even space gap all the way around. Now we're going to add a triangle right up in the center. So we start just above the goggle with a straight line going across. Now we're going to go up and in towards the center point. Now from the triangle we're going to move out and draw an angle line going up and out on either side. And then we'll close off the top with a straight line. Now about halfway down this line, we we'll draw a straight line going across on either side. Now I'm just going to round this out and then pull that in towards the top of the goggle. Going around and then in. Right up above we're going to add two small circles. One on the left and then one on the right and we're going to fill those in black. Now let's draw on the top of the head. It's a large half circle starting on the edge of the last goggle on the left. Go up round out the top of the head. We're going to come back down along the right side. Go up to the top and then pull that down on the right. Now let's draw on the bottom of the mask. We're going to start with a wrinkle first. Starting at the bottom of the circle, curve down and then in. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw on the bottom of the head. From this point, curve down and in towards the chin. And we'll work our way back up towards the right side. Let's add in the ear covers. Just above the goggle on the left, we're going to step up. We're going to draw a quarter circle coming around and then down to right about here. Now we're going to angle down and in with a short line. We'll come straight down. Now we're going to curve this in behind the mask. Come down and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Lining this up along the top. Curve out and then down. Angle down and in. Come straight down towards the bottom. And then we'll curve this down and in behind the mask. Now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way down the side of the body. We're going to get started on the left side. Right underneath the head, we're going to curve out and then down towards the hip. Now we're going to go over to the right side. We're going to go about halfway. We're going to curve out and then down. Along the side of the body, there's three pouches. So across this line, we're going to draw a straight line going across. We're going to come down on either side of equal length lines. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's add another pouch on the inside, but we're going to drop this down a little bit further. Stepping down, go across. Come down, we want to make sure this line comes down further than this point. We're going to extend this line down and then close off the bottom. Let's do that one more time. Stepping down, come in. Straight down, again coming down lower than this line. We're going to extend this line down to the same height and then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's add a flap to each pouch. From corner to corner, we're going to come down and then up like a half oval.
Now from the left hip, we're gonna curve down and in behind the pouch for the bottom of the belt. We're gonna step up and draw that same curve going in behind. Let's add a belt loop right here. Two straight lines side by side. Now we're gonna go back up and draw on the collar. Start from the top corner of the body. We're gonna curve down and in. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we'll connect these two points with a curve coming down the middle and back up. We're gonna add a few bullets along the side of the body. So just below the collar, I'm gonna draw a straight line going across. Do this a couple times going across like this. Now at the ends, we're just gonna round this out along the top and bottom. Now we're gonna step in and just draw those same curves on the inside. Now we're gonna to go to the outside and curve in the opposite direction. Let's go to the bottom corner of the collar. We're gonna curve down and out towards the side of the body, just up above the belt. On the right side, we're gonna go in behind the bullet and come down in behind the first pouch. Let's draw the bottom edge of the chest plate. We're gonna step up, curve up, and then back down on the right. We're gonna step up and just trim this out along the inside. Now on the left side of the body, we're gonna draw a long rectangle going out, two short lines on either side, and then close off the bottom. Now from the bottom of the chest plate, right in the middle, we're gonna come down in behind the strap and all the way down towards the belt. Now we're gonna go back up and draw on the sleeve of the vest. Stepping out, curve out, and then pull this in towards the side of the body. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna draw a little pocket in the back here. So just underneath the chest plate, go across, come down on either side. This is gonna go in behind the middle pouch and then close off the bottom. Now from the two top corners, we're gonna come down towards a point. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center of the body, I'm gonna come down and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down for the lower torso. Now I'm gonna leave a small gap in the center. On the left, we'll curve out and down towards the left heel, curve out and down towards the right heel. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. From heel to toe, we're gonna to curve down and then up. Let's round out the top of the foot. From the toe, we're gonna to curve up and in towards the heel. We're not gonna go all the way. We're gonna stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's thicken up the sole. Taking this curve, we're gonna step up and just follow it all the way from toe to heel. And then on the right, from heel to toe. Let's add that band across the top of the foot. From the outside of the foot here, we're gonna angle up and in. And we're gonna curve over the foot and down. Now I'm just gonna angle this down on top of the foot, leaving a little overlap on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Go up and in, curve over the foot, and we'll just pull that back down towards the top of the foot. We're gonna add two straps on the inside line here. We're gonna draw two angle lines coming down towards the heel. Now let's draw on the shin guard. From the top corner of the strap, we're gonna go out, with a straight line. Now we're gonna come in with a straight line, just a horizontal line coming in. And we'll just pull this straight down in behind that strap. Now let's go back up to the hip on the left. We're gonna curve out the side of the leg, going out, and then down in behind that shin guard. On the right side, because it's hidden by this pouch, we're gonna curve out and then down. From the side of this pouch, we're gonna draw an angled strap coming down towards the side of the leg. So we start at the corner of the belt, come down with an angle towards the side of the leg, step down, draw that same angle line coming out. Now let's add a buckle. We're gonna add two angled lines side by side. Now from the inside of the shin guard, we're gonna add a strap. So about halfway down, we're gonna draw a curve coming down and up. Step down and duplicate that. Add a small pouch on the right leg. Right down here, we're gonna draw one line coming out. Above the shin guard, we'll draw another one and just connect the top to bottom with a straight line. Now let's go back up and draw on the arms. We're gonna start from the bottom of this shoulder strap, curve out and down towards the wrist. On the right side, we're gonna just clear that corner of the pouch coming down towards the wrist. Now back on the left side, we're gonna start with the thumb. A small half circle. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. 
Now at the bottom of the thumb, we'll come down and up around that bracket. We're gonna add two more fingers. Step down, curve down and up the second finger. Now we're gonna move up, curve out the third finger, we'll pull that in. We're just gonna stop right about here. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna bump out the shoulder armor. From this point, we're gonna go up and curve that in behind the head. Let's add the inside edge of the shoulder armor. Starting on the left side from this point, curve across and down. And we're gonna angle up in behind the shoulder strap. Do the same thing on the right, curving across and down. And then we'll angle this up. Now we're just gonna draw a little curve. From that same point, we're gonna curve out and then back in behind the head. From the shoulder armor, I'm gonna step down and just draw the sleeve. Starting from the outside, curve in and down towards the inside of the arm. Do the same thing on the right. It's gonna add a small detail to the outside of the shoulder armor. Just almost like a half circle on both sides. Now from the wrist, we're gonna step up and draw the edge of the glove. Curve up and then out. Now the last thing we do is add a little control box on the back of the arm here. It's a straight line angling down. Come down towards that third finger and then we'll close off the bottom. Let's add two small circles on the top and then the bottom. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's a Tech Ops from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.